Hello and welcome to the MetaTrader Quick Start module. In this module what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get up and running with some customized screens so that you can begin to explore the different currency pairs at your leisure. So with that in mind the very first thing you're going to do is after installation we're going to go to the default charts. This is the default, these are the default charts right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to click on properties and we're going to click on colors. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is scroll down here to black on white, thusly. Okay. And the very next thing we want to do is where it says bar up right here we want to mark that as green where it says bar down which is the very next tab down we want to mark that as red bull candle we want to change that from the default white to green bear candle we want to change that from the default green to red and we want to click OK. All right, there we have it. Now, this is what we'd like to see as far as our candlestick charts are concerned. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this so that we can bring this up anytime in any chart that we want. So here we go. We're going to right click go down to template go down to save template now I've already created this so candlesticks you can call it candlesticks you can go and call it candlesticks one whichever you prefer we'll just save it as candlesticks in my case it's going to ask me do I want to replace it because it's already here and yours since candlesticks is not there you don't all, you don't want to replace it but let me go back here and I'd like to change this to candlesticks one with a capital C there and let's save that okay it tells me it already exists no problem okay there we go now we've saved that as candlesticks one now the very next thing we want to do is customize all the rest of our charts in this fashion but before we do that we are going to set up for trading the euro dollar US dollar now you can set up any currency pair that you like in this case we're gonna set this one up as a standard so in order to do that you can see this is a pound dollar and these are all different currency pairs here what we're going to do is simply grab that and drag it and it becomes euro dollar US dollar grab that drag it that becomes euro dollar US dollar grab that drag it that becomes euro dollar US dollar now we've done that we've got that all on these charts. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to template and I'm trying to remember to slow down here so you can follow along and do the exact same thing and what we want to do is we want to apply the candlesticks one template to each one of these charts so that all four of the charts in our screen are candlestick charts. Template up to candlesticks one there we go now as you can see none of the indicators are here in any of these because in the template we didn't save any indicators okay so when you want to save indicators you can do so simply by changing the template by saving the, placing an indicator on here on any of the charts and then saving the template okay now what we'll want to do from here is we want to look at various periods 
of the candlesticks. So say we wanted to start with daily here as our largest time frame. Then we wanted to go, well, let's not do that. Let's pop back. Let's start here with hourly. For our purposes here, we're going to make that our smallest time frame. The next one was going to be four hours. That's already set up. The very next one, and all you do is click on this little tab here. Or there's another way to do it. You can click on the periods and go down here and set it as well. So we're setting that daily. We're setting this up as weekly. Okay. So, okay, we've got this one hour, four hour, daily, weekly. We've got perspective here, and we're focusing on the euro dollar, US dollar. Now, something very important for us to do, as far as customization is concerned, is to go over and to save our screen setup here as a profile. And give it a new profile name. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, let's call it, and I've already saved this one, let's call it EURUSD candle stick. Make sure you spell it right so you'll know what you're looking at. Candlestick profile one. Okay, so we're going to save it. There we go. There's our candlestick profile one all saved up show you back what we would have looked at as far as default. There's a default chart. We pop back over and go here to EURUSD Candlestick Profile 1. Set it up as such and we are more than set to go. Now, say for instance we don't want to do candlesticks. What we want to do is we really want to do these same period studies in hour, four hour, daily and weekly, but we rather do it in bar chart format. Well, we can certainly do that. There's two different ways. We can click here for bar chart. And as you'll see, we'll get a bar chart that's a multicolored type of thing. And that's not what we're looking for. We'd like more of a standard type of bar chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll down here to Properties, right click, all the way down to the bottom to Properties, or click F8. In fact, I'm going to left click to make this disappear. And I'm going to hit F8. And there we go. Okay. Let's go back to black on white. Like this and click OK. And then up here, click on bar chart. And there we have everything set up as a bar chart for us. Okay. You notice that if you zoom in, the bars get thicker zoom out the bars get smaller and I'm going to make sure that's turned on auto scroll okay there we go okay so in keeping with a quick start let's save this as a template and I'm simply calling this one bar chart one so I'm going to save it. I already have one name bar chart one. So for you, you're not going to see this message. It's just going to see, you're just going to save it. And that's bar chart one. So let's apply the templates. Bar chart one. Bar chart. And bar chart one right there. So we've got bar charts all around. You can change these colors of course to anything you want. This is just a standardized place for us to start experimenting. 
Okay, so we'll go over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to save the profile as EURUSD bar chart one. And there we go. So we're all set there. We can pop back and see how these things work. Okay, there we go. That's a default. There is our euro dollar US dollar bar chart set up here. Okay. So you can go to any of the profiles that you like. Now here's a quick way to get to each of the profiles as well. You can go control five to the next one, or you can hit Shift F5. Control F5, Shift F5. Move forward and backwards that way. This is this is uh, how that would look. That's all I'm doing. Is hitting Control F5. Now to move backwards, I hit Shift F5 and move backwards. There we go. Okay. So this is where you are. You're ready. You're all set. If you wanted to do candlesticks of your four favorite currency pairs, you could do that as well. Again, you'd simply find your currency, your favorite currency pair over here, and drag it and drop it to any of the charts here. When you're in the mode of trading, you'll want to zoom into the chart that you'd like to focus on. For instance, say I'm interested in, I've looked at my overview here, weekly, daily, four hour, one hour, and these time frames can change depending upon which particular type of trading system that you're using at the time. I like to look at longer term and work my way down and I call that top-down trading so that I can get a good idea of the prevailing trend here on the weekly which as we can see here in this particular case is up then the daily trend is up the four hour we can see the trends there we can see some movement in a consolidation here and we see a finer example of that consolidation here okay so then I would go to my smallest time frame chart and move to move it around get some perspective if I have a methodology in mind then I will place the trades according to that particular methodology and what I'm talking about is an actual predefined forex trading system if I'm trading via candlestick patterns and I'm doing things manually and I'm looking for certain patterns then I open up this particular chart and look for some patterns that would lend themselves to a trade of some type as I'm looking over here I'll be seeing spinning tops develop over here as far as candlesticks are concerned and thinking that we're at a point of some trend exhaustion in this particular area anyway let me minimize that not to go into too many specifics just wanting you to see how you can set your charts up okay now if you've got a particular favorite type of indicator that you want to use you can do that too there are lots of different ways to do that um, as far as indicators are concerned and what we'll do is now before we go there what we'll do is scroll down and there's indicators here say for instance you're a fan of moving average 
There we go. Here's a moving average. This is a 100 period. Say you're interested in a 10 period moving average. Simple moving average and applied to the close. All right. There we have it. There's our moving average. Now, just to show you in a quick start how this would apply to templates. So you want the moving average on this one. And that you wanted to save the template. As candlesticks and put a dash in here. Candlesticks and we'll put ten SMA. And the ten stands for the period. It's a ten period simple moving average is what SMA stands for. You put that in there and click save. And then as you can see, we can go back here through templates. There's the one we want. There's the one we want. There's the one we want. And what we've done here is we've applied the indicator to a template to show basically that whatever you place on your chart uh, your indicators, the type of chart, bar or candlestick, you can save as a template and then apply that template very easily to other currency pairs as well as other time frames. So that works out great. As you can see here, the weekly has been above the 10 period moving average. Daily, for the most part, has been above the 10 period moving average with some slowing in here. Four hour, one hour. It's just a, a great way to, to get perspective, again, on all of your trading. Now, we'll pop back over here and just show you this. Okay, EURUSD, candlestick, let's see, candlestick 10 SMA, and again, you don't even have to name it as a say profile because it's in the profile section so obviously it's a profile and you can put that in there and click OK and there you have it we can go to control F5 move forward move forward move forward move forward okay there we have candlesticks and with a variety of currency pairs, all four hours. There we have Euro dollar, US dollar. There's R set up there for candlesticks. Here's the same type of candlestick setup, but with the pound dollar. There we are again with a different type of moving average. There we are. There's our bar chart. We ran out, huh? <laughs> and let's pop back down here. And that's it. Candlesticks. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. Go to our default. Okay. Here we are. We're all set. Back here at our default profile. And let's go straight to our EURUSD candlestick profile. I'm going to delete that indicator. So here we are. Here's the starting point. You can start with any particular currency pair that you want, but the entire purpose of the quick start video was to show you how to 
customize your charts customize your templates and be able to pull up a template at will with the information that you wanted on it and also save groups of charts as profiles thank you very much for viewing the quick start module